safe? <laughs> Chocolate chip pancakes. Oh my gosh. Yep. I didn't think it was possible to love you even more. Can't take all the credit. Thomas helped. Wanted to help Chow down, but he ended up with more batter on himself than the bowl, so yeah, he had to give him a bath. Mm -hmm. You're the most amazing husband ever. Ah, oh, it's high praise. We have to stay here on our honeymoon. Doesn't mean it can't be special. Coffee. You know, I was kind of thinking, uh, I don't know. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. 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 This is the best honeymoon ever. Yeah, it's just a shame that all the food ended up on the floor. Mm -hmm. You worked so hard to put it together. Uh-huh. Well, we'll just have to go downstairs and forage for some more. But then that would mean we have to get dressed. Well, we'll just stay in bed all day. I'm really doing. What? <laughs> so, good morning. A little uh, early for a uh, bra, isn't it, ladies? I do not want to be interviewed by you. Okay, well, with your help or not, I am going ahead with this story. Mom, did you want to maybe go get some coffee? No, I'm working. Yeah, Kate's going through a lot. Maybe you just give her a little bit of space. I know she's your mother-in-law, but sometimes she can really be a witch. What was all that with Jennifer? She just came in on the attack and didn't let up. Yeah, she seemed a bit in overdrive. What's up with the story about Camaro? Well, just trying to stir things up, you know. Usually you're a pro at spinning things like that into your favor. You'd use it to your advantage. Why not this time? OK. You know that big deal that I was working on? That's yeah, brilliant. Strategic acquisition to vertically integrate Demara. Yeah, well, not so brilliant, because none of those deals have gone through. Every time I target a company, it gets bought out from under me. It's like someone is one step ahead. You really should be enjoying your honeymoon. Oh, no, I did enjoy my honeymoon this morning. Um, okay. And I was really craving these muffins. Good. And that coffee's decaf. Mm. Because the way you were dogging Kate this morning, I thought maybe you were a little over-caffeinated there, Hi, Jennifer. I <laughs> am an investigative reporter. Sometimes I have to be aggressive. Well, there's a difference between being aggressive and going completely scorched earth. No, my readers expect informative, provocative, fresh news. And if I have to be tough sometimes, that is just part Part of it, I know, yeah. I get it. But you know, maybe you need a little something else in your life besides just chasing down stories. Okay. You mean the business side of the paper? Because Adrian has gone completely AWOL, so yes, I've taken on the business no, side as well. I'm talking about your personal life. Personal life? Honey. Dating, or is this something maybe? Dating, seriously, honey, come on. The last person I dated was... Eric. Yeah. Every time I try to close a major deal, it evaporates. There's no paper trail? Who's buying? No, they just say that Demira was outbid. They refuse to give a name, and they're not required to, so no paper trail. So inside information, somebody knows the moves we're making before we make them. Yeah. I mean, it's happened so many times, there's no way it's a coincidence. Inside job. Who has access? Andre. Andre. Of course, Eric must be devastated. I went to see him at the farmhouse, and he was. He was shattered. But I persuaded him to come back home and work at the center again. That's great. Gosh, I'm so glad to hear that. You know, he's got a real gift for helping people. I know he's talked me down more than once. He's an incredible man. 
And maybe if he feels like he has a purpose, he, he can put Nicole behind him. Well, maybe you could help put Nicole behind him. Andre move. Look at the press conference. The mayor is still recovering from that fallout. No, I know. I mean, it, but as stupid as that stunt was, I think that he learned his lesson. In case you haven't noticed, Andre has a very steep learning curve. Okay, look, I really believe that he regrets what happened. Or well, he's just got better at sabotaging. <sighs> no. Nope. I don't think he would do that to Demira, and I don't think he'd do it to me. You guys smoking a peace pipe? Okay, look, he knows that I've been going through a lot with Lucas and what's going on with Will, and he's been very supportive. Well, because he cares so much. All right, all right, look, I, I know my marriage is a sham, but I like to believe that we have a friendship. Look, I hate to say it because he's my brother and I love him, but we both know what he's capable of. I know, you're right, I mean. He is a multitasker. He could be comforting me with one hand and stabbing me in the back with the other. I know that. Talk to him. No. He'll just lie to you. Oh, yeah, he's going to tell you the truth? You're on your honeymoon. I'll take care of it. Me? Help Eric get out over Nicole? That's ridiculous. No. You still have feelings for him, don't you? Honey. We went through hell together. There was so much drinking and, 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 and so many drugs and Daniel's death and... But what you had was real, right? It was for me. I, I, I think it was for him. Mom, reach out to him. You guys, I mean, he needs you the same way that you guys needed each other by then. Just do it. Don't, don't I be don't afraid know. of it. I don't know. I'd like to, but I think that's wishful thinking. I mean, maybe now that we're not using, maybe it won't be the same. Or, you know, maybe you're better. You're stronger and you're wiser. It's one day at a time. I'm just saying, sure you want to begin with all of this, with everything going on? Yes, I'm sure. I need to stay busy. Yeah. Just keep me informed. I will, but we need to keep this between us, okay? We can't have Jennifer finding out, or Andre. That goes without saying. Which means you're not going to be able to talk to Abigail about this because of her connection to Jennifer, but she also is close to Andre. We can't have her tipping off Andre. I would do anything for Demera. Well, that's good to hear. But I will not ever lie to my wife. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Kate, um, would you mind if I just had a minute alone with my husband? Of course not. You know, it is really nice to hear that you don't want to lie to your wife, but what if Kate asks really nicely and it's for the great Tamara name, do you think maybe you might? Absolutely not. See, that's part of the conversation you missed where I said that I would do anything for Tamara except lie to my wife. Hmm. I'll tell you everything about the conversation if you want, word no. for word. Mm -mm. I trust you. And I know you will let me know if there's anything I need to know. I told you how right? amazing you are? Um, maybe. I told you how much I love you. I don't know, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! I'll show you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Put me down, please. <laughs>